Hot and dry weather conditions playing a huge role in the spread of several wildfires sparked across our viewing area recently. You're looking at video taken from the scene of a scrap yard fire in Birmingham last week, and that forced a nearby elementary school to evacuate. Wildfires in Shelby County also burned more than 200 acres. Hello everyone. Well, first responders worked for hours to contain another fire in Malga today. It happened in the area of Slope and Century Drives. Alabama forestry officials say someone burned a pile of tires and trash on private property. The fire is now under control, but ABC 3340's Bobby Portavent spoke with the Alabama Forestry Commission and Bobby parts of the state are under a no burn ban and state and county leaders take it pretty seriously. They do and they want us to want us to do the same and if not, we could be faced with hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in fines. The Alabama Department of Environmental Management says burn plans are in place just for days like this. These past few weeks of not having any rain, um, low humidity days, uh, high wind days, it's just like the perfect combination for a fire to get out of pan. It's why each year several Alabama counties, including Jefferson, Shelby, and Talladega, face tighter restrictions on outdoor burning through October. On Wednesday, a fire was caused by tires in Mulga. Coleman County Forester Mary Claire Smith was one of the first responders on the scene. Smith explained why even seemingly simple tasks can be dangerous. A lot of people may be doing everything in their power to do, you know, the right thing. They have their water hoses and rakes and everything, but all it takes is one gust of wind and an ember and it's out of control. Central Alabama's mountainous landscape can make it even harder to get fires under control. Especially in Jefferson County, um, they're hard to put out a lot of the time because the terrain makes it so difficult. The risks are greater than you may think. Run the risk of um, burning somebody's house down, um, property, um, I mean, or, or or worse. Now as a reminder, dry and windy days are some of the most dangerous and it's always best to play it safe. So if you have any questions about burning in your area or on your property, you can always check and ask and talk with your county health department as well as the Alabama Forestry Commission. Brenda. Bobby Portavent reporting so far this year, the Alabama Forestry Commission says the more than 1200 fires in our state have burned more than 30,000 acres.